Hello, and welcome to another Crypto Nation video tutorial. Today, we'll be installing Freenet on Ubuntu 10.10. .10. In this tutorial, I'll be showing two common and easy methods of installing Java. The first using the Ubuntu Software Center, the second using the Synaptic Package Manager. Both Java install methods were performed on a fresh install of Ubuntu. You'll only need to install Java once. If you already have Java installed, you can skip installing Java method 1 and 2. Let's begin installing Java via method 1. Go ahead and open the Ubuntu Software Center. When the Software Center opens, search for Sun Java. If Sun Java isn't found, let's enable a repository so we can install it. Click on Edit, then click Software Sources. When the window opens, click the Other Software tab. If Canonical Partners is not checked, click the checkbox, then click Close. After the window closes, wait for the sources to update. You'll know the sources have updated when the In Progress status goes away. Once the sources have updated, search for Sun Java again. Click on Sun Java Runtime Environment, JRE, and click Install. If prompted, type in your password. When the Configuring Sun Java window opens, simply click the checkbox to accept and then click Forward. When the install is finished, you'll notice that it has also installed a couple of other things. For example, both Sun Java Bin and Sun Java JRE. Alright, Java has been installed. You can skip installing Java Method 2 if you wish and begin installing Freenet. Let's begin installing Java via Method 2. Open System, Administration, and click on Synaptic Package Manager. When Synaptic opens, search for JRE. You could also search for Sun Java as well. If Sun Java isn't found, let's enable a repository so we can install it. Click on Settings, then click Repositories. When the window opens, click the Other Software tab. If Canonical Partners is not checked, click the checkbox, then click Close you may be prompted to reload the sources. Even if you're not, click the Reload button. After the sources update, click on the JRE search to load it and scroll down to Sun Java Bin. Right-click it, then click Mark for installation. You may be prompted to install additional packages. Click Mark. Click Apply to open the summary window. When you're ready, click Apply to install Java. When the Configuring Sun Java window opens, simply click the checkbox to accept and then click Forward. Alright, Java has been installed. Now that we have Java installed, let's download and install Freenet. Open your browser and go to www.freenetproject.org. Click the Freenet for Linux download button and save the file when prompted. When the download finishes, navigate to its saved location, then right-click on the file and click Open with Sun Java. When prompted by the Java installer, click Run. Select your language, then follow the on-screen instructions.
When the installer finishes, it will launch the Freenet web interface. Since this is a first run of Freenet, we need to choose a few settings. Please note, I highly recommend that you take your time on the next couple of screens to read all the options, as they set security levels and give suggestions regarding anonymity. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose low to medium security settings and simply give a few suggestions. It is recommended to allow Freenet to auto-update and to enable both plugins. This mouseover is a new feature of the Freenet installer. Please take a few moments to thoroughly read all the text it contains. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose OpenNet Connect to Strangers instead of Darknet Only Connect to Friends. Since we're using OpenNet, we should choose the normal security setting rather than choosing low. Please consider choosing normal, high, or maximum for personal use. Because this install is only being used for this tutorial, I'm going to choose low. If you're on a broadband connection, you should be fine choosing 12 or 16 KB. The larger the data store, the more storage you offer the network, and normally, better performance for your node. You have now finished the setup process. Welcome to Freenet. If you want, you can create a bookmark to the web interface. After you let Freenet run for a few minutes, you should connect to more nodes. To see the nodes you're connected to, go to Status, Connection to Strangers. In most cases, you'll need to port forward your OpenNet and DarkNet ports in your router for the best connectivity. To find these ports, go to Status, Internet Connection. Now that we have Freenet installed and it's connected to the network, let's open a free site. For this example, I'm going to open the AFK Index free site. Since I've been to this site before, it loaded rapidly. Because it's your first visit, it may take a few moments to load. Welcome to your first Freenet free site. If you like these video tutorials, please consider following us on Twitter at CryptoNation for future updates. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope you found it useful.